welcome back to Valhalla. Uh, let's go to work. Thought I'd say there, there's different endings and stuff, but I'm probably not gonna do the alternate stuff, at least not immediately, because I gotta get to other stuff. Um, in a way, it's kind of nice to, you know, do a bunch of series on the same game, but uh, uh, generally speaking, I prefer doing a bunch of quick videos on, to show a bunch of different stuff. This is just sort of me trying out <laughs> something a little different. Well, huh? didn't expect you today. I was waiting for you to call and say you wouldn't be coming or something. Things at the Apollo Bank are getting ugly, so that means more people are looking for a drink. Take a break, you know? You're quite the hard worker. The streets are not exactly safe right now. They've never been when you get down to it. Besides, I can't afford to not come with the bar closing soon. I wonder if any bar has used impending closure as a means to get their employees to work. It seems like the total opposite would happen. Not to mention I get bored of my brains in my apartment, so I'd rather come here anyway. What'd you say? Nothing important. Gil isn't back yet? Nope. Wouldn't worry too much about him, though. If you say so. That girl's still here? <laughs> You've been, she's been sleeping all day? Whatever. So, would you mind doing that for me? Oh no. Yes, I do mind. Please, just, just, just slide her into the trash. Wheel it to the curb and let nature take its course, okay? But you're the boss, and it's kind of my fault just here in the first place. Sorry about that. Hey, young lady, sleep another hour and we'll have to start charging you a motel fee. Oh crap, I totally forget her voice. <laughs> Where am I? I hate you. Oh man, I, I need to find out what stupid voice I did for her. Hold on. I remember it was a voice like this! I hate you, Streaming Chan! Oh right, Yon, what the shoddy downtown bar. Let's see, all my gear is in place, and neither my pants nor my panty shirts bra have been displaced. Oh, it's the flat bartender. I just wanna, um, I guess I'll have to edit in a picture here if I remember to do so, which I probably won't, but um, Jill has been shown, like, at the end of the episode things, and also, like, one of the icons. And she's, like, a C cup or so. She's obviously not flat in any universe. And also, Streamer Chan is flat, so... I, I really don't know what tree they're trying to bark up here. I guess it's the standard anime thing, but I mean, that was never funny in the first place, and it's even worse when it doesn't actually make any remote sense at all. Evening? Oh well, it's been the best night or day of sleep I've had in quite some time. It's been the only one I've had. Sorry for all the trouble I may have caused you today or last night. Don't worry. You're so nice, flat bartender, this you! Thanks for uh, taking care of me. Bye. Oh, thank God she got out of my bar. Whew. That was exhausting. Hello, guys and gals. Streaming chance back in action with their batteries reloaded. To the moon, it burns. I feel like I just unleashed something terrible into the world. Come on, it's not that bad. Say, what's this bottle? A bottle of absinthe I had at home. I went to have it appraised, but the bottle, the guy said without the label, there's not much value to it. Still a nice bottle of absinthe, though. How would you appraise, like, whatever? Everyone's town's weird. You gonna serve it today? Looks like the absinthe can be detected by the station's database, so it's not counterfeit. Only serve it to customers asked for it. Sounds good. I, I don't think you bring your own drinks to. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure you don't do that. I'll pass. Absinthe's kind of not my thing. Well, then, I'll be in my absinthe. Careful with that thing. Alright. Oh man, I just remembered I never got to serve anybody the fedora drink. Maybe we can have the Reddit ending if we serve somebody the fedora. Time to serve, mix, and change... what? Wait, that's not how it goes. I just made that joke last episode! Shut up, Jill. No one here to retort. Man, it feels really lonely without Gil here. I just hope the restlessness in the streets... Restless in the sheets or streets. Ah, oh, I fucked it up. We're both screwing things up today, Jill. That's great. Doesn't lead to dangerous or weird types coming in here. Hello, brain in a jar. Holy shit, that was a record-breaking jinx. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? Uh, 
Let's see, I will have a green fairy. Green fairy? Blue fairy, sorry. The absinthe bottle distracted me. <laughs> it's brain and blue fairy. I, I don't think applying drinks directly to your brain is a good idea. Whatever. It's not my problem if you die. Um, optionable. Just because, let's give this brain a big one. Just to see if it like, explodes. I'm a good person. Aged and mixed. There you go! Big blue fairy. Nice, yeah, this is the thing. So, how are you gonna... Oh, oh you can grab stuff. Should've figured as much. You can drink stuff? And eat. I have the same system, Lilim do. I asked you something, or... Miss... Call me Taylor, just Taylor. And yes, a cutie like you can ask me anything. Okay, Taylor. You have to be the first person I've met that didn't go, okay, just Taylor. Oh! Dad joked. Nah, too easy. You are a brain in a jar, right? I'm sure not a hologram of that, I am sure. Yep, I am a bona fide human brain in a jar. So how? Why? Why does my handsomeness make you speechless? Yes. Yes, it does. You're not something a- oh. You're not something a girl sees every day. I'm saying quite a bit in these parts. Fear not, for I have a speech prepared for these situations. A speech? You're seeing one of the five great living bottled brains of the world. We are brains living in conditions that allow us to ex exist as any other humanoid creature. I think most humanoid creatures have brains. All while computers in our jars scan our activities in a slow but steady manner, we are helping the world understand the inner working of nature's most complex computer. I guess you prepared that after being asked the same question too many times, huh? Not out of exasperation or anything like that, mind you. I just wanted to have something thoughtful prepared. Look, I even have a couple of pamphlets with me. You want one? Nah, I'm good. Sure, what brings one of world's five brains and jars to this place, though? Oh, I'm, f I'm from around here, actually. I just wanted to take a walk for the first time in quite a bit of time. Have you come here before? Sadly, no. Otherwise, I'd remember a cute face like yours. Speaking of which, can I have your name? Uh, it's Jill. Jill, that's a really cute name. It's a really standard name. Thank you. So aren't you scared of going outside today with all the commotion and all? It didn't stop you from coming here either, did it? Oh, I got played. It's gonna take more than cryptic, cryptic but ominous news to stop me. You're awfully energetic, do you know that? Sorry, does that bother you? No, not at all. I just figured a brain in a jar I wouldn't be so happy. Well, while I was alive, my body got to a point where there wasn't much I could do. This new state of existence allows me to complete more than I could before. Plus, I'm doing something that will help people in the long run. Wouldn't you be happy? I wonder. Do you want to make- No! 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 None of that! None of that! Don't worry, just give me a beer- You people and your beers! I'm gonna kick out the next person who asks for a beer. Oops. Yeah, get some nice ice in your beer. Delicious. Ah uh, uh, yes, no matter what happens, beer's always good. I disagree. Jill, it's interesting though. I don't know why I just read my name. Just yesterday I was talking about to a client about brain uploads. You were. Yeah, we were talking about how even if you upload your brain, you'd still be here. I've thought about that too. Do you think the you in the cybernetic environment would feel like she had was indeed transferred? Wouldn't you like know? Like would she remember everything? Like waking up someplace else and so on? I was actually thinking earlier about being able to transfer somebody's brain into a lilum. One of the brains is being used in such an experiment, actually. They can make a functional lilum. Unfortunately, the wiring and other tech stuff makes it a lot look a lot more creepy than anything. They aren't transferring his identity or anything, though. Just wiring him to a body. Oh. I think someone would rather do that and float around exposed in a jar. I have to admit, the whole brain thing does look creepy. Just a little bit. But the body I'm telling you about is just uncanny looking. Speaking of uncanny, how'd you feel when you saw yourself like this for the first time? 
It was quite a shock, actually. It didn't last long, though. I was never too attract attached to my body. I picked the wrong voice for this guy. He's not very monotone. But whatever. Too late now! Later in my life, I was almost literal. The what? I was never too attached to my body. You know what the downside to this body is? I can't get drunk. What are you doing? If you want to call that a downside. If you want to drink alcohol for the taste, there are many alternatives. Drunkenness is part of the whole experience. Why though? Willem can get drunk with no problem. Yeah, but in their case, the brain's computer attached to their body. Getting drunk caused their brains to reduce the output speed. <laughs> I don't think that's an exact analog to getting drunk. Depending on their model, the drunk subroutine might throw in a different behavioral cycle even. It's hard to get drunk with the whole point of being in a jar is to figure out exactly how you work. Hey Jill! Oh, Alma. Oh, hello, Ahoge lady. Oh, just Alma? Where's the courtesy one would expect from a plebeian bar staff? Welcome to Valhalla, what can I get you? Happy? Not when you put it that way. Why, hello there, beautiful. Hmm? Wah! You hurt my feelings with that, darling. Sorry, you don't see talking disembodied brains every day. I mean, I did work at somewhere in little maintenance, but even then, those were talking heads. Oh, don't worry about it. At least you're not running or fainting. Your name was Alma, correct? I am Taylor. Nice to meet you, Taylor. Say, Alma, can I bar buy you a drink? Sorry, I only date people who are at least 50% organic and have at least one face. Rude. Hey, this guy's more organic than a Lilim, though, so screw you. Hmm. I don't know just what to strive for, then. Just kidding. It'd make me happy to make you happy by buying you a drink. Does that bother you? I guess if Jill's the bartender, I don't have a problem with that. Awesome. I'll pay you for the next drink, then. What do we have? Cobalt Velvet. Finally. I don't want to drink that much. Okay, then. Cobalt Velvet. Finally something new. It's like champagne served in a cup that had a bit of cola left. Had a bit cola left. Little typo there. On the rocks. Next. I like that glass. It's like tilted. There you go. Hope you enjoy it. You know, you've been nice to me the past three minutes, and at least three, the least three guys have been last year. You, 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 lady, you. You have the worst taste in everything. Judging from the way you talk, I'm guessing you have been a client for a while now, right? Only about half a year or so of memory serves, right? Really? One would think it had been longer. Feels like it's been longer. <laughs> Shut up, you love me and you know it. So you just started coming here and that was it? Well, the first time I came here, there was other guy. Speaking of which, where's Pablo? Gillian. Archimedes. <laughs> Dunno. Adventuring or something. Anyways, the other guy served me the first time I came here. Nothing unusual there. Next time I showed up, Jill here was the one serving, and I don't know. I just feel like she just gets me. There's this chemistry we click. She's coming on to me. She's gonna entwine her ahoge with me. The fact that I feel more chemistry with her than I feel with other many other people is kind of sad, though. Um, rude. It's always good to see a nice friendship. Sadly, it's getting late, and I've got to go. I'll leave you two lovely ladies alone. See ya. Bye. Please come again. That tailor sure was nice. A bit weird at first, though. Apparently one of five brains being studied by scientists or something. Summary of it in this pamphlet. Let's see. Oh yeah, I've heard about that before. Can't believe I actually met one. Say, Alma. How many people in here are, you f are there in your family? Just curious. Aside from my mom and dad, we're five sis- sorry, four sisters and one brother. Funnily enough, we all have names that start with the first five letters in the alphabet. So you're the eldest one? Oh, I'm actually the middle kid. Weird. Don't think too much about it. Never said the other f the order reflected our ages. My sister Carlotta's the oldest one. Miss Diana. Here comes Ava and the bottom lies Bella. Bernardo. Huh. You've never been alone, I'm guessing? Can't complain about that, I guess. Tell us we've never been 
that we were never five in the same house. By the time Ivetta and Bernie were born, Dayanetta and Carl Carlotta, ugh, I hate these names, had already moved. Speaking of family, today I came, a I came because I needed a break from everything that's been going on here. Do you live with them? No, but Ivetta and Bernie do. Not to mention I visit them almost every day. Anyway, my second eldest sister, Diana, just separated from her husband. It's not even been a week, but she's already been got some other guy in her bed. Sounds like you, Mrs. You. She left her kid with her parents' husband. Pretty much forgot about them. Sounds like wonderful relationships run in the family. Never mind the fact they need to go to school and all that. Damn. Diana's life has been always been messy, but... What? Wait, what was that? But these days, she's really making it big. She wants time for herself, to live her life. Just let me live my life. She didn't think about it when she was married to the guy. 20. Don't, don't marry young people. And especially don't have kids young. I mean, married, you can fix. But I mean, whew, have a kid too early, not ready for it. You're, you're screwed, the kid is screwed, everything sucks. Don't ruin your own life. Not, not, not a good plan. She didn't think about it when marrying a guy she'd only met for like three months. I guess they're like the opposites. Like, that one marries after three months, the other one like... ...dates and then leaves somebody after three months. Hey, I never marries someone who can catch my... ...so quickly, okay? Sure, there was that one time when it almost happened, but I blame the damn stadium kiss cam. Kiss cam? I was going out with the guy my little sister introduced to me. Seems like he was a friend's brother or something. Went out a couple times, he asked me to a baseball game. You need, there's no Blurns ball in this hellscape? Oh wait, basketball. You know, the ball games! One of the B1s, who cares? The move was nice, but then later the kiss cam focused on us. Instead of kissing me, he proposed. Oh shit, don't do that. I almost got caught in the mood and accepted. Huh. So I take it you rejected him in a stadium on the fucking kiss cam. Wrecked. We went out for like three weeks. Why did he even... How did you... Did you... Did, 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 did you just have a ring? Just like, yeah, I'm just gonna carry this ring with me. And if anybody, you know, if there's like a stadium kiss cam or something, I'll just bust out and be like, yeah, you know what? This is fine. This is... This is good enough. Let's just get married. I don't know. Maybe you wanted to get my pants with the old sex on the wedding night line. But I asked him to God can't understand why I thought it would be a good idea. It's also convoluted, you know? Proposing and waiting for the medit... Wedding night just for sex? Never underestimate the man. Links the man is willing to get you in bed. Yeah, the whole sex until marriage thing is a little. Ooh. I've seen more convoluted plots over the years. Feeling tempted to ask, but I'll pass. Want anything else? Hmm? What's that bottle? It's a bottle of absinthe I found at home. It's unlabeled, so it's not that valuable. Yes, would you like to drink this unlabeled hallucinogenic substance, ma'am? Do you know how to serve it? Usually need some kind of spoon to perch a cube of sugar. The station does all that for me. Do you want some absinthe then? Is that a thing you do with absinthe? I, I vaguely know about it, but I've never actually. I really want to give someone. How, how is this bottled? I don't think a fedora is considered a bottle. Whatever. <laughs> Green fairy. Ah, uh, delightful. Okay. Careful, it's a strong drink. I'll tell you if it's strong or not. Oh! And indeed it is, holy shit! You okay? I'll be fine. I've had worse in college. Uh, what did you do in college, by the way? Jaeger bombs, giant taco pizzas! Cute student teacher. We all did a cute student teacher at some point in college. I'm talking about studies, woman. I know, I know. I'm a computer engineering dropout. Dropout? I was getting fed up with the whole make programs for other people thing. I see. Alright, now's my turn to ask questions. About what? About what kind of family is your family? Well, I'm an only child. My mom and dad split amicably. Mom is a violinist, so she was always away from home with the orchestra. I spent most of my time with my dad, my aunt, and my grandpa. Aside from that, I'd say my childhood was quite uneventful. Huh. Did you get something like your mom's artistic vein or something? I played the violin until I was around 16, I think. What made you stop? I don't know, I just kind of said that's it one day and stopped. 
well, cousins of the rest of your family. I see very little of them, actually. It, it always seems a little weird to me, personally, when, like, extended family is, like, super tight-knit and stuff, like... Aside from immediate family, an aunt or an uncle or two, we don't really meet up in the whole family reunion thing doesn't appeal. It doesn't help that a lot of them are... Eh, they're just... different from us. Mainly because my dad moved away from most of them. Most of my mom's family live in France to boot. It's not cyber France, it's just normal France. Is your mom's French? Yep. Can you speak French? Mon guitilier, I have plein to all I guess. Oh, what does that mean? Rubbish? I don't know, I can't speak French. I did try it though. But college started and I stopped taking classes. Funny thing, I actually have a cousin on my mom's side who lives close by. You'd be hard pressed to, s to make me spot him in a crowd. Kinda lucky, you know. On my mom's side, my family lives here. She has a meeting with someone I'm related to on the street are ridiculously high. Yeah, that's the primary of my family. Nothing too interesting, really. Your mom's a French violinist, and you call that uninteresting? I mean... Kind of? Yeah? I'm wondering if your family has ever made a fuss about being a hacker. Hacker makes it sound too exotic. It's like if I called you a mixologist. Please don't, ever. Sounds like something... Sounds like something... That, that's exactly the point. See? I mean, hacker is a good way to sur surmise it. It's really... it's the, the, the. They really mean cracker here, but... Uh, Security specialist, or... Yeah, security consultant. Infosec. People want to find flaws in security of the systems, and I do my best to pinpoint where it breaks. Be it in Glitch City or anywhere else in the world, they need security, I'm their woman. I've told quite a few stories about cracking into databases to retrieve info or some sort of mercenary, though. That doesn't change the fact that hacker is not the best term to use. Which the whole thing sound illegal when it's actually an honest job. Yeah, hacking is actually like... Like, say you had a website you didn't like and you, like, cobbled together a JavaScript thing to fix it. That's hacking. That's, you know, you take what you got and you sort of cobble together a solution. And you make things work that aren't supposed to work. Or aren't supposed... that isn't... whatever. Words. Like, um... Anything to do with, um... Whatchamacallit? Ar Arduino? Arduino? Those little embedded chips... It's just making cool stuff out of weird things. Did you tell me you once secured some incriminating pics from a guy's cell phone? A mostly honest job. Sheesh. I need to become a hacker. You just, you just said whatever. I've always been a sucker for puzzles. Even as a kid, I always had a Sudoku or crossword with me. If I were to compare my job as a programmer to anything, it's it's mostly solving puzzles. Like I said, when I play puzzle games, I I'm not too interested in puzzle games anymore, unless it's just, they're super easy and relaxing, because what I do at work is mostly solving puzzles, and I just... Hard puzzle games just feel like work, and it's... Uh. So, when I started college, I took a course on system security. I felt like the sort of kind of... Bleh. I felt like the kind of puzzle I was looking for. I mean, there are all kinds of things involved in breaching net security. You need to attack the stuff from different angles. It's something that's always evolving. The whole point of everything is to strengthen security. Every time you think you've got the gist of it, they change everything. So it's kind of like an always evolving puzzle. A puzzle I help make harder at that. Huh, don't think about it that way. It's less actiony than make movies make it out to be, though. No real time frantic typing, nothing like that. Yeah, frantic typing just gets you typos. Seeing my code break through something, it's an amazing feeling. You have anything else? Give me something non-alcoholic. I want to play it safe with the whole absent thing. <clears throat> Bleeding Jane. Well, let's give her something expensive, just to be a jerk. Not that one. Wait, why is the pure out? Why is the Everclear expensive? This is exactly the opposite of Everclear. Whatever. Oh, dang, that's cheap. No way. Why aren't there any expensive drinks with optional whatever face? 
Oh, whatever. I'll just pick that first one that I saw. Brand teeny. Yeah, sure, a blue fairy. These colors, like, shouldn't it have powdered delta to be blue? Aged. Mixed. There you go. I hope you haven't spiced up this one. Um, please. Say, Jill, what's the worst that could happen if you didn't get your drinks tonight? Well, people have the right to not give me money. If they don't pay for it, I don't get my bonus. No bonus means less money and no tips, which doesn't help because I have to pay bills. Oh, I see. Do you have to make an effort to pay your bills? Nope. <laughs> you have no idea how much I hate you right now. Uh-oh. Well, my job pays pretty well, and I'm not the kind to spend too much on things other than food and bills. Maybe maintenance on my hands. Oh, you have robo hands. Maybe you can do frantic typing then. I just noticed that. I thought they were gloves. But aside from that... Oh, I know. If you have trouble with your bills, why not live with me? We could be roommates. Would you two just make out already? Dunno. Moving my stuff through the stairs because the elevator's broken. You own, like, five objects in an apartment that is the size of my bathroom. Like, calm down, woman. I have to move my liquor collection. Your li liquor collection is not in that thing. <laughs> my cat's a shut-in that got very upset the one time I moved some furniture around. The idea of moving just gives me a headache. You shouldn't take things so seriously when I say them, you know? I don't, but I've thought about it before. Now I need some air. I'm gonna take my break. You wanna come? You invited me to the back of the bar? You should invite me to dinner first. Every minute you waste making jokes is damn take it for my break. Until you punch out, I don't think that's true. Boss, I'm taking my break. Call me if anyone comes in. Sure, sure. See, that is not flat. That... No. There, there, is, there is no universe where that is flat. Whatever. Oops. <clears throat> I hope that save wasn't important. It's only day five? Holy crap! Okay then. <laughs> I love this. Windows 95 thing. 2069. Nice. Wait, is it 2069? There was somebody- there's- Oh, it's Alice Rabbit again. Oh wait, no. Let's just get- Nice. Cold, cold, cold. Okay. Um... Yeah, I guess let's split this in a video. I I was planning on videos to continue to take like 45 minutes on average. And instead so they're under 30, but um, I think that's still a decent one video length. And this way <coughs> I can release Valhalla videos one a day and then one other video a day and keep things keep things rolling. So yeah, that that is day 5 or like day 5 and a half, I guess, of Valhalla. <laughs> 